One of the city's biggest mob hits ever was last December the 16th, when Paul Castellano and his heir apparent were gunned down in front of a midtown restaurant. Today, one man was killed and another critically injured when their car was rigged with a bomb in Brooklyn. Police sources tell us it was another job by the mob. When the bomb squad arrived at Bay 8th and 86th Street, this was what was left of a 1985 four-door Buick. And this. The car had been parked across the street from Tommaso's Italian restaurant. Police cordoned off a two-block area, and residents waited for hours trying to find out what had happened. Officers here say the blast occurred sometime between 1.30 and 2 p.m. One young man who lives in the area said he was 10 blocks away when he heard it. Frank Rossi, who works across the street from where the blast occurred, was one of the first to get a good look. We were back in the kitchen having coffee, just sitting there, and all of a sudden, boom, just like that. I don't know how to explain it, but I thought it was back in the war. Do you hear screaming coming from the car, anything like that? Well, there were a couple people trying to take the people inside out. They were trying to get them out of the car, and they finally got them out. A couple of doors away at the local video store, the managers told me the incident had hurt business. After all, they said, why rent a movie when you can see one going on outside? Indeed, at the scene, experts from the bomb squad were gathering physical evidence. All they would say about the bomb was that it was planted under the car, that it was very powerful, and probably went off when the driver of the car opened the door. There was a pool of blood around, a couple of pairs of shoes, some fancy Havana cigars, and something else. A video cassette of Pritzi's Honor, last year's hit movie about the romance of a husband and wife team who just happened to be hitters for the mob. A police spokesman said one mounted officer saw the blast and then went into action. The officer got the assistance of bystanders in the area and loaded both of these injured people into his van and drove them to Victory Memorial Hospital where they're presently being treated, very seriously injured. In fact, Frank DeChico, of Staten Island and said to be in his 50s, died soon after. Frank Bellino, also from Staten Island, is in serious condition with multiple burns, internal injuries, and a mangled leg. Sources within the police department said that the man killed was a lieutenant to John Gotti, the reported godfather of the Gambino crime family. Gotti is now on trial in Manhattan on racketeering charges. The injured man is reputedly a member of the Lucchese crime family. The police are still examining debris from the car bombing that killed reputed mobster Frank DeSico. They're trying to figure out why someone apparently ordered a hit against the alleged number two man in the Gambino front crime family. As Ron Claiborne reports, one theory at least involves last December's rub out of Gambino boss Paul Castellano. Investigators say the bomb that killed Frank DeChico had been placed on the ground under his car while DeChico and another man, Frank Bellino, were visiting a social club half a block away. The powerful device went off just moments after the two men returned to the car. DeChico opened the car door, went in, sat on a passenger side, and reached into the glove compartment to take out some papers for Bellino. At that time, the explosion occurred. Police are looking into the possibility that the explosion was triggered by remote control. They say it was definitely not set off by DeChico's opening the car door. And investigators also want to know why DeChico was apparently murdered. Well, there's a lot of speculation on a motive. Uh, some of it is that this is in retaliation for the killing of Castellano. Some of it is that uh, they believe DeChico may have had something to do with the death of Castellano. Other speculation indicates that they feel they may be too quick of a rise for Gotti and, and for DeChico to come up as an underboss, but that's all speculation. One prime theory is that DeChico, a friend and associate of Gambino boss Paul Castellano, had helped set up Castellano's murder last December. DeChico had reportedly grown close to John Gotti, and when Gotti took control of the Gambino family, DeChico became his top lieutenant. Any comment on what happened yesterday? This morning when Gotti arrived at Brooklyn Federal Court where he's on trial for allegedly running a criminal enterprise, he appeared grim, but he had no comment on DeChico's death. But a lawyer for one of his co-defendants did speak to the press. Well, can you say anything about any reaction to what happened yesterday in, in Bensonhurst? That can affect this case in any way? Well, it's very sad when an individual is killed and an individual dies. And it's sad when an individual is on trial and hopefully the judge will take it into consideration and perhaps uh, this matter may be postponed. Defense attorneys in the case asked Judge Eugene Nickerson to postpone jury selection or move the trial out of the city because of publicity about the car bombing and DeChico's alleged links to Gotti. 
Nickerson refused. While police have a number of theories to look into, they have very little else at this point. They have no physical evidence except for the debris of the bombing and no suspects in the case. From police headquarters in Manhattan, Ron Claiborne, Channel 5 News.